Alright, start from the butterfly. Alright. Start, keep the grip. Pull my head, if I can, right above the solar plexus. It's like I have a little plate right here, right? Cool. It comes off the side, that's bad. If it's here, alright, see my head's up, that's bad, man, yeah, no pressure. So it's only to start here. Alright? I'm going to rock back. As I rock back my hand, I'm going to go to his hips. Hands go to the hips. Now the first thing I want to do, I'm going to pick this side. My arm's going to swing inside. My body's going to turn a little bit. Opposite side foot, he's going to hook his knee. Alright? From here, I'm going to place my other foot inside. It's replacing my hand. Alright? Bottom foot. Bottom foot and the knee. Top foot by the hip. Very important, the top foot. The knee is on the other side of his butt. Alright? Even if, when I'm here, as long as I have the bottom foot in good, I'm controlling his top leg, even if he wants to prevent me from bringing the other foot in, it's easy. I can just push on the hip on my side, put it in, no problem. From here, my favorite, right? Get nice, good control. I'm going to push my legs away as I continue to hold my leg. Once he puts his hands down, my bottom leg comes up and over. Now I want to control his heel, alright? Let me finish. If for some reason when I go to do this, he pulls his knee low, past my pelvis, now obviously I'm not going to be able to knee bar him here, right? So I have to abandon this and switch to something else. My legs come open, right? Instead of here, other leg comes over. Push the foot to the side and come up. Now when my shin is going to dig into the back of his hamstring as I come up. His foot is on my hip as I come up with good pressure. Right against the back of his hamstring. Good pressure. If for some reason his foot pops out, right up here, I come up, I'm going to immediately go to the seatbelt. Turn this place. Immediately going to go to the seatbelt. Hold tight. Right? From here, I want to take him and take his back. The way I'm going to do that is really simple hop. My head is going to go to this side of the mat, and my foot comes around, my knee comes around, and blocks his knee. It's very simple. It's not you know, real aggressive at all. Just kind of, we're just going to ride. Boom. That's the move. Right? From here, we're just going to rock. We'll get a hold tight. Come over. As soon as we come over, we're going to finish through our naked. Don't know what happened to this in here. Why? It's going to grab my arm. It's like, yeah, I want to try and show you. Please stop me. I don't want that. I want hand on top of my other hand. Slide in. Finish. One other option. If for some reason, he starts to turn away from me a little bit. It's going to be really hard for me to go over to the other side and take his back and roll him over, right? So what I'm going to do in that case, again, tight seat belt. I feel like he's starting to move a little, all right? My bottom hand is going to push his arm out of the way. I'm going to lock this up. Now my knee on this side, this way, is going to pop up in between. And then I'm basically going to ride and kind of sit back. So he gets back from here. Some people will tap on this for apply pressure. If they don't, right? So if you do, great. If they don't, put it on for a second. Don't burn yourself out. My top hand sweeps this out. Finish. That's a series we're working on today, right? So I'll throw it up. Just so you guys remember, we're going to work on in particular the setup for the X card, some of these other moves from the next couple of weeks. Make sense? Questions?